from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this 10 News update. A man taken into custody in the murder of a gas lamp club manager now released from jail without being charged. Jonathan Hernandez was arrested Monday morning after 33-year-old Joey Holtz was shot and killed following an argument. But yesterday, police and the DA announced that Hernandez would be released and no charges would be filed at this time. They say that's coming after they receive some new information. Now, police say Hernandez is still considered a suspect, but they didn't release any more details. Massive homeless outreach by the city of San Diego today. This is part of the Connect Support House program to reduce homelessness. Outreach teams led by Mayor Faulkner heading out across the East Village, inviting homeless people to the tailgate lot at Petco Park. They will then receive help with medical issues, government IDs and applying for benefits. Crews cleaning up after a water main break near the airport. A pipe broke yesterday under Hancock Street at Emory. Water started gushing out of the pavement and flooded some nearby businesses. The water was shut off pretty quickly. Crews still cleaning it all up this morning. Parts of Hancock Street and the off-ramp to get on the 5 freeway now open. Former Coleman University students who are still exploring options after the university unexpectedly closed can get some help today. San Diego Mesa College is hosting a resource fair for Coleman students. There, those students can get free academic and financial counseling, and they can also learn about online classes that are available when the fall semester starts. The resource fair starts at 5 this afternoon in the San Diego Continuation Building. All right, Megan, what's going on? <laughs> well, you know what? Yesterday was a very active day as far as thunderstorms go in our mountains, and expecting another active day again today. In fact, there is a flash flood watch that will be in effect from noon until 8 p.m. today. Yesterday, some areas picked up two inches of rain. Today could see some heavier cells drop anywhere from one to three inches. That could lead to flash flooding, so do expect if any thunderstorms form, the weather to change very quickly. Heavy rain, small hail, and damaging winds all possible in any thunderstorms that form today. Peak activity will be between about 2 and 6 o'clock this afternoon. Generally in the 70s along our coastline with a few 80s like in Oceanside and downtown. Mid to upper 80s for our inland neighborhoods, Escondido 88, 86 in Poway and in El Cajon today, and 85 degrees in Santee. 80s also in our mountains and low 100s in our deserts. It's still going to be pretty muggy tomorrow, but humidity drops inland as we head into this weekend. The temperatures will be on the rise. Virginia. Thank you, Megan. If you want to get the latest news, weather, and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.